Welcome to a brief introduction to portraiture. Today we're going to be looking at doing a male portrait. And to begin with, we're starting with a large circle in the top half of your page and then drawing a vertical line down the center of it. Following on from that, two vertical lines, keeping them quite straight on either side of the circle and then connecting from the base of those lines into the center line that we dissected the circle with. This is the jaw and we're going to make a bit more of a quite an angular structure for the jaw with a bit of a chin running across the base of that as well. So that horizontal line I just drew in then is where the chin's located. Now I've found where the nose is to go and the nose is just sitting on the base of the circle where it lines up with that intersection point of that vertical line. So that that's a, um, an easy way of locating where the nose goes and then halfway in between the nose and the base of the chin is where the mouth is going to be located. And that shape that I just made, that little bit of a, an M, a very flattened M is crucial to making the mouth look believable. The, the, um, the center lines are most important, that crease with those corners are the most important parts to get in for your mouth and we're keeping it about a third of the way towards the jaw to the edge of the head and I'm just tidying up a bit of the nose trying to get the nostrils to look a bit more believable keeping a, an arc in the center for the nostrils so just do a, a simple arc and it's a simple arc as well for the base for that bottom lip and I'm not connecting it to the corners of the mouth now I'm ruling out halfway in the circle and then halfway in between that line and the nose and that's where the eye is going to sit. So I've um, just slowed this process down so I can go over a bit of the creation of the eye and the eyes are one of the more difficult aspects of creating the head and we're going to be drawing a straight line up from the edge of the nostril and connecting that to that center line, that horizontal line that we made in the um, center of the circle and that's where the eye is going to sit. So that horizontal line, the one that's closest to the nose, that's, half, that's the halfway point of the eye. And I'm going to start with a tear duct and draw two, two diagonal lines, one starting at the tear duct and then one at the edge of the eyeball and that's that's found at about the halfway point between the tear duct and the edge of the head and then connect, connecting those two lines together using a um, straight horizontal line and then following that up with a curve for the bottom eyelid so it's just connecting each corner together with just a simple arc and they should each side the top and bottom half of the eye should be about the same distance so I'm going through and doing that on the left eye now and just again starting with the the tear duct and then constructing out from there so work work inside out work from the parts that you can measure out first and then project out from there and you'll get the hang of the shape relationships and how they line up with one another so polishing up the the right eye putting in a bit of a putting in the eyelid bit of a crease in there making it look like this this person is relaxed and at ease I don't I don't want to have this portrait looking like a, he's expressing any particular really surprising emotion anything happy I just want it to be a relaxed person and I'm now doing the bridge of the nose just drawing a horizontal line a little bit in from the tear duct closer to that median line in the center of the circle and from that I'm going to construct out the eyebrows. So the eyebrows are following a similar shape to the upper eyes, the upper eyelids, but it's just a little bit different. It's, it goes in a bit further and then arcs up. So it goes about a third of the way in to the eye and then it, at that point you, you bend it upwards and continue that out past the eye. So it starts closer to the center line than the, than the tear duct 
and it goes out beyond the edge of the eyeball. So the eyebrows, we make them, we're making them just a little bit bigger than the eyes. This should give a, a nice believable looking um, expression really. That's where all the expressions derived from in the face is your eyebrows. And I'm just finishing those ones up and next we'll be moving into just a quick pass over the, the upper lip shading that in and just polishing up the the nose trying to make the um the the nose a bit stronger doing the bridge of the nose and filling that in and putting a little bit of shading in the nostrils and next it's just a little bit more cleanup to make establish the planes of the face some of the those little um, eye bags doing the bridge of the nose in between the eyebrows, showing some of the, the planes of the face. And that I was just illustrating there that the eyes should all line up. They should be at about the same height as one another. I don't want them to be at I don't want them to be offset and wonky. And now we're looking at how to construct the ears. A very important step, getting these right. So for the ears we're going to be taking the top of the ears lining up with the base of the eyebrows and the base of the ears lining up with the base of the nose. So you can draw two horizontal lines out from each of those and then you'll have the area in which to constrain your, your ears to. And I'm just briefly indicating <coughs> some of the little features in the ears themselves not getting too worried about the details in there, just trying to do the large shapes. And going through, adding some more planes in the face, defining out the, um, the edges of the nose. And now we're moving on to the neck. So the neck, we have it set just a little bit inside the jaw. It's not quite lining up with the edge of the jaw, it's just a little bit inside of it. And then the, the neck goes straight down vertically and it has a diagonal sloping away from the median line. And now it's the hairline and that's quite a simple process of just drawing inside of the skull. Don't have it sitting on top or in line with the, the circle that we made for the edge of the skull. Have it drop in a little bit, particularly in the centre of the head. It's a little bit lower because there's a bit more of a, there's a bit more skull there. So I'm just polishing up some of the some of those messy lines I made, some of the construction lines, trying to get those a bit more um, a bit neater and a bit more legible. Next, we've got locating the center of the eyeballs and just showing that they should line up with about the center of the mouth. And the center of the eyeball, we're then drawing a circle for the iris and then the pupil. For the iris. I'm drawing it so that about three quarters of it is visible. I want it to look like a, a relaxed expression. And then the iris is about twice the size of the pupil. So we make the pupil quite a bit smaller than the iris. Just again, trying to make this portrait look as re relaxed as possible. That this is not, this is not a person expressing any emotion really. It's just a man at rest. So got a few more little bits of um, tidying up to do in this portrait, but at this point we have all the basic features in. We have the eyes all established, the nose and the mouth. So it's from the basics of the nose, eyes and mouth that we can then establish where the ears and some of the other features are located. And I'm just doing a little bit more of a showing some of the planes of the face, some of the, the areas where the planes turn and the this is just a a little bit extra that you can do onto your portraits. They're they're not as crucial or important as the other steps. But thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of it and it was useful for you. Good luck with your portraits.